new stuff um, have become washing machines. There's no character to them, you know. It's like trains these days, diesel trains. They have no character. The old steam trains, to me, were a living, breathing thing, you know. And I think the old cars have character as well. I've always been interested in old cars, um, something I grew up with, I think. This one in particular was very special, owing to the fact that it belonged to Elvis. Basically, I've always liked the 600. They're, you don't see many of them around, they were hand-built cars and, uh, and quite rare. This particular car had to be in excellent order, and the fact that it had belonged to Elvis Presley, it was a, it was a double goody as far as I was concerned, you know? He bought the car new from a, a Memphis dealer, and he used it during the Las Vegas Comeback Special um, in the 70s, early 70s that he did. So it, it, it was a car that they, um, they used quite extensively. It wasn't just a, a passing fancy where Elvis used to buy cars and uh, he'd give them away to people after a few weeks. But this car they, they owned for some, uh, for some time. And he then passed it on to one of his associates, a man called Lamar Fike. Um, who had the car for some time. Uh, he then traded it in in a Memphis dealership uh, and an airline pilot bought it and had it for 27 years uh, before I bought it from him. This car, is, it, it drives like a modern car. It performs extremely well. Um, suspension's wonderful. It's, it's just a wonderful car that was way, way in front of its time. I'd taken the car out for a drive and um, I turned the radio on and um, just by sheer chance Elvis was singing Are You Lonesome Tonight and I came back to my wife I said I'm getting rid of that car she said why? I said it's haunted um, I was driving it and Elvis suddenly started singing to me I was just joking yeah? and we often laugh about that it doesn't need to be locked up in a shed somewhere it seems a shame it's the same as um, parting with anything that you've, you've enjoyed or loved. Um, sadness, but now's the time. Um, this happens in all walks of life with things. You know, they're after all just possessions and we just borrow them for a while. We, we can't take them away with us, you know. Um, but it, it, people should enjoy these things. Um, just to lock them in a glass case and not have any access or any use of them seems to be a crime. You should enjoy them always, I think.